Okay, so ahead of season three of Slow Horses, I yeah finally got round to um, watching season one. Right, it's been on the list forever, but uh, you know, just other things get in the way, people. But yeah, watched it, watched it. Now, I've um, yeah, I've, I've, I've been reading the books from Mick Heron. Right, and yeah, I did the first few books right a while back. I enjoyed them, but I'd kind of done them back to back, so it's just like I needed a bit of a break. And because of you know getting to uh, the TV show, I figured it would be a good, you know, good way to uh, get back into things. Right, so at present, there are, I think there's 11 books, right, with novellas, you know, so I've read, you know, well, season one is based on book one, which was just called Slow Horses, right, Um, and I've read up to book six so far. Right now, yes, season one is directed by uh, James Howes, James How Hawes, James Hawes. Right now, three episodes I think are written by um, Will Smith. The others, episode four is written by Morwenna Banks. Episode five is written by Mark Denton and Johnny Stockwood. And episode six, we are back to Will, right? And James directed all of them. You know, we've got uh, each episode. So episode one is called Failures Contagious. Episode Two is work drinks. Episode three is Brad, bad trade craft. Episode four is visiting hours. Episode five is fiasco, and episode six is follies. Okay, now um, our cast. Right, so we have got. Gary Oldman as Jackson Lamb. Jack Loudon is River Cartwright. Kristen Scott Thomas is Diana Taverner. We have got Catherine Standish, played by Saskia Reeves. Olivia Cook is Sydney Baker, aka Sid. Rosalind Elazar is Louisa Guy. Christopher Chung is Roddy Hoy. Stephen Waddington is Jed Moody. Dustin Demry Burns is Min Harper. And Paul Higgins is Strewn Loy. Right, so they're all Slough House. Though um, Diana Tabner, Kirsten Scott Thomas, she's in... Um... Oh, my God. She's at the park. Yes, she's at the park, right? So we have got the Sons of Albion. So we have Mo, played by Sam Hazeldean. Larry, played by David Walsmy. Am Zeppo, played by Stephen Walters. And Curly, played by Brian Vernell. We then got River's dad, David Cartwright, played by Jonathan Pierce. Hassan Ahmed, played by Antonio Akil. Peter Judd, played by Samuel West. And Robert Holden, played by Paul Hilton. The other members of the park, MI5 headquarters, that is, people. So James Spider-Webb. Right, a old acquaintance of Rivers is played by Freddie Fox. Nick Duffy is played by Chris Riley. Um, Ingrid Tierney is played by Sophie Okendo. 
Ah, I, I knew I recognized her. And I was like, who the fuck was that? That's who it was. Right. Um, Agent Pierce is played by Joey Anash, and Agent Singh is played by Bally Gill. So um Yes, the gist of season one is after a botched and publicly embarrassing training mission, British MI5 officer River Cartwright is exiled to Slough House, an administrative purgatory for service rejects known as slow horses. Cartwright and his colleagues must endure dull paper pushing tasks and their miserable boss Jackson Lamb who expects them to quit out of boredom and frustration. Life in Slough House is defined by drudgery until the slow horses become entangled in a dangerous gambit by the park. Um, the name of the fictional MI5 headquarters, right? Uh, derived by its location at Regent Park. Boom, boom, boom. So, yeah, I have to say, I really enjoyed this, right? Now, like, the books are good. The books are good. A, a bit that does get a little bit frustrating in the books is Jackson Lamb, right? Just because he farts, he burps, he's just off key, right? And there's a lot of that. So you are just a bit like, ah, can we you know, rein this in a little bit, which the TV show does. He still does do a whole heap of off-key shit. Now, he's still burping and farting, but just not as much as the books, which I thought was good, you know? And um, it's like, you do kind of think, who are who are these people, right? What, you know, what what will they look like? And so I just thought, yeah, the um, characterizations are pretty good. I've got to say, Spider, James Spider Webb, was spot on to what I'd imagined, right? I think even though he is depicted as being bigger, right, pretty much obese in the books, Gary Oldman is a fantastic Jackson Lamb. Kirsten Scott Thomas is great as Diana Taverner. You know, Kathleen Stavenish, Catherine Stavenish is just really well done by Saskia Reeves. Um, Olivia Cook as Sid was fantastic. Roddy Hoy was really well done from Christopher Chong. Um you know, all the others, right? Now, the ones that did throw me off was, like, Min, that works. Dustin Demry Burns does a good job with Min. Louisa Guy, right? I was surprised. You know, not, like, surprised, you know, with Rosalind Elizera, but it's just the fact that you just think, Man, why would she mess with Min, right? That's the crazy thing about it. But no, everyone really does a fantastic job acting-wise, you know? It, it's very well done. Now, there are some changes, right? There are changes to the, to the book. Slight changes. No, nothing too crazy. Um, well, I mean, we do get a change... A, a few changes in the Ahmed Hassan storyline, you know, in, in things that happened, like the petrol station, that's not in a book, right? Some of the things that happen in the woods, right? Those change, the, the, you know, we changes there. And then the way all of that is concluded, that's been changed. But those changes work very well. You know what I mean? They work very well with the story, you know? And I do feel the, the situation in the woods probably makes a bit more sense, you know? Probably makes a bit more sense, and especially the conclusion of all of that, you know? I think that worked. That really did. 
And the, the petrol station gave it a little bit more, you know what I mean, intensity. That was tense, right? We get the, um, I'll say, the incident at um, a Judd's house. Man, you know what I mean? And the Robert Holden stuff, that was played really well. That was played really well. Yeah, and Jonathan Pierce is a fantastic David Cartwright, you know? So just all of those bits were great. I think they do do a, a really good job of building the tension, you know, when the tension is needed, like um, the whole stuff at the park, even at the very beginning, right? The training mission, because you wonder how are we going to, you know, I mean, you can write it, but how are you going to show it? And that was great. That was fantastic, you know? Like, um, yeah, just all the thing, all the things that go down, right? Louisa and Min, when they return to uh, Regent's Park, right? Um, no, Slough House, even. Um, that was really good. Just, you know, Holden's House. Right, just all of these things, the flashbox, right? All of it just was brought to life in a way that you're just like, okay, okay, that's what they're doing. Night now, the scene in the kitchen. I was curious. I was curious. And I think just the way that was all cut works perfectly. And then the table. Oh, my days. Like, kudos to the special effects people. Was that? Oh, that, that was really good. That was really frigging good. Now, I, I will say, the end, we get some different context added at the very end of season one in that final episode, Follies, right? At the very end, it's bookended with this bit that's not in a book. And we don't actually find that out until... Man, when did that stuff drop? I think that may have dropped in book five, Spook, Spook Street. I think, right? But, um... Or it might have been in Real Tigers, book four. But it, it it wasn't in book one, for sure. But, oh, it was great. It was great, you know? Like, a lot of times, you know what I mean, when books are ad adapted to the big or small screen, there can be a lot to be desired. But this was a fantastic adaptation. And people... I can't wait to get into season two.